I have always been a lover of fashion since I was very young. I, it actually relaxes me to look at fashion <laughs> as crazy as it sounds. That is not my profession, but it was, it's always been a creative outlet of mine. And with that, I've taken other courses, I have to say, other fashion courses. And yours was definitely more comprehensive. And I got the most out of your course out of all of the courses that I've taken. And I also had to ask myself, why was that? (laughs) Um, To give you proper feedback. And I think a lot of it was you, you, your hands-on approach, you're honest. And I wrote this in the, the feedback, you're an honest, knowledgeable guide. And, and that's what you need because we all have blind spots. This is not just in fashion, but everything. And you helped me realize what my blind spots were, even though I was a lover of fashion, but I had some blind spots. I had some serious blind spots. One of them was an overabundance of shoes, which, and I keep a very small closet. Uh, I don't have the real estate to have walk-in. I have a very tiny closet. So I'm not even over the top in in terms of consumption because I don't have the space for it, but just identifying the fact that I had so many shoes and not enough tops, things that made getting dressed up, you can't, it's not tangible. Like once you're in that rush of getting ready, you don't think to say, why am I having such a hard time getting ready in the morning? But when I did your course, I realized it's because I don't have tops that are cohesive, that are coming together with the full wardrobe. That was huge. And that was, that was my biggest challenge going into it, Mm -hmm. uh, was identifying what those blind spots are and were mainly because you don't know what you don't know, Mm -hmm. (laughs) right? You go in thinking that, okay, I have, you know, a basic understanding of like, I, I knew my body type. Um, and transparency, because I've done those me- measurements from other courses, color palette, I kind of knew, but what brought me over to the top with your course was at the end doing the capsule wardrobe and putting everything out into one area. Pinterest is, as you've mentioned before, is not the best area to like have a very Mm -hmm. cohesive all-in-one snapshot of what your closet is like I've used Pinterest a long time and I I do love it to collect things but as soon as that exercise came up to put everything in that snapshot even I refer back to it all the time when I'm shopping now I drop the item that I'm looking at purchasing in there and ask myself is this worth a purchase? Like I am ultra picky at shopping now. I mean, besides the lack of real estate, but I do um, value a small wardrobe. I travel a lot. So I'm out of a luggage and I don't check any luggage. So I'm out of of a carry-on for extended periods of time. So I do appreciate a cohesive functional wardrobe. And that's what I was going in, that's really what I was hoping to achieve. And I got other benefits along the way, but at least going in, that's what I was hoping for. Nice. And what did change for you in terms of your style and wardrobe and maybe self-image as well as you went through the program? The biggest thing I noticed is the color change. (laughs) And I'm sure you've heard that before. And I think it's really inspiring for you as a person to inspire so many of us as students to inject more color into our lives because it does change how we show up in the world, the psychology of color, how people see us, that we actually care about how we dress in a sea of blacks to really extend that um, skill of incorporating color and so much of it, and I've said this to you before, that your perspective on capsules that has color is the biggest thing that I see lacking in what is currently out there. I've seen so many capsule wardrobes that are neutral, Mm the navies, the tans, the whites, the blacks, maybe denim, but 
I've never seen anyone like you have like actually create a capsule that's colorful, fun. You want every piece. It sparks joy. <laughs> that is something unique to you. And that I appreciated right from the get-go is that perspective on color, a smaller wardrobe that we don't have to buy and consume so much. That's what spoke to me. Nice, yeah. But you mentioned that you took other courses and what you learned about color previously was kind of like you already knew this stuff, but when you joined Style Accelerator, it kind of still changed for you, even though you knew about color when you came to the mm -hmm. program. This is when you managed to get to wear some color or like how different that was? Yeah, I think so. The, the What I learned from the other courses was more of the colors that work better for my body type or my, my skin color. It wasn't exactly, yes, they did speak about complementary analogous coloring, yeah. Yeah. but it wasn't... <laughs> an exercise that I was forced to do. So like in theory, I knew like, yes, okay, th this color complements this, these are analogous. Mm -hmm. Also actually, you know, thinking back, they didn't really discuss hue, like the saturation of each color and how different that is, like in terms of the pigment of the color. Mm -hmm. That I did love about your course was while there's pairings of this color and this color, like you're, you have a more, I'm looking at this stuff behind you, like your clothes, <laughs> it's, it, it's the same hue. Like if someone's looking at it besides the, the magenta, mm -hmm. they're all the same hue. And I, thinking that a little bit more about color was also um, insightful because the other courses did not have that it was simply what colors go together but not what hue is it what's the tone of the color and painters can appreciate that yeah 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 for me definitely it's like knowing something is great but ultimately it's about applying to your wardrobe and my goal was always okay how do I make it easy for you so you can try it and you put everything into practice right away and I think with you it was great as well that you showed up every time and you completed every action item inside the program. But then we see the difference. Like it's really like you created beautiful, colorful wardrobe for yourself. Like you knew colorful outfits, they are gorgeous, right? And like they look and feel different to you and you're getting so much confidence with wearing a lot of color. And definitely, I think it, it's the exercise, it's the application. It's, yes, you can see it but you have to apply it in the end and if you don't have that guide the knowledgeable honest guide looking over while you're applying these exercises and especially if someone is a, a full beginner it's very difficult to not to have an untrained eye see these colors in a in a different way so it, it's what you added was that honest and knowledgeable guide as we're navigating something new, especially with color pairings and all its forms. Um, I remember one of the students mentioned she was worried about looking like a clown. And yeah. <laughs> that's what I mean in terms of being an honest, knowledgeable and patient guide. That's the element that you added. Yeah, maybe I'll ask you the last question, Samantha. So who would you recommend the program, like Style Accelerator? Who would you recommend it for, if you would recommend it? I would definitely recommend it. I, I did say I would definitely recommend with um, highest regards. I, I think it could be for anybody. So th this is what I was saying about knowledge-wise going in. Even if you feel like you have a little fashion knowledge, but not like you don't know how to incorporate more color. I, it could be for that person as well as someone starting out basics, like I'm wearing all black and I need to stop. I don't know where to start. So that's, that's the beauty of your course is that you can start from wherever you are fashion knowledge wise, and you will gain something out of it. It could be anybody really. I mean, I think again, your perspective is very interesting because you do have 
And it's not just color, it's like elevated color because there's, I've seen color on Instagram, people wearing all sorts of color, it's out there. It, it, you know, it draws the eye, of course. Um, but the way you pair things in color with color, I think that's why most people are drawn to you, Nina. Like that's, that's the key part of your business. And that's the, the base of why I joined. And I've heard other students say it, they joined because they want to introduce more color. So if, if that at the very least is something that you want to do, this is the course for you, no matter where you are knowledge-wise with fashion.